example with an independent t-test. So for this particular example, what we're going to use is this scale here. It's actually the um, empathic feeling and expression scale. This is the degree to which somebody, when they see um, somebody who is different from them in terms of race and ethnicity, um, and they see prejudice being exhibited to them or being treated poorly, that they have this feelings of, of empathy um, and expression and, and feeling for that particular individual. Um, so the same kind of thing, it's a seven point scale uh, off of this, a higher the score, the more of this uh, empathic feeling and expression for the different others, uh, different other. Uh, and so uh, and then we'll, we can look at gender differences again for that. So, again, we're going to go to T-test, independent T-test. And then um, so we'll go down, we'll put that um, uh, ethnocultural empathy, we can call it that too. We'll put that scale in here for the grouping. Oh, excuse me. Um, that's why it's a mistake. It wouldn't go in the grouping, right? Because it's not a nominal scale. It's actually, it's not our independent variable. It's our dependent variable. So we put it over here in the variable. Um, I like to say I make those mistakes on purpose to help you feel um, better about things as well. I just kind of, uh, kind of miss that in that particular one. I'm glad I made the mistake, though. I think it's a good example for you to see of why why won't it go into there? It's because it's it's not a nominal variable here. And then gender, we're going to look at the gender differences. And again, we're going to we want to see the effect size. We want to see the descriptives. Last time I didn't show you descriptive plots, but you can do this as well um, to give you some some plots related to that. And we'll look at the quality of variances um, for this as well. And so you'll notice to start out with, um, we have a T that's pretty large, um, 6.26. That means the difference between the means is, is over six times larger than what you expect by chance between the two groups. Here we got our degrees of freedom and our P value. So here it's just saying it's less than 0 0.001. This is a big difference between the two groups. And our Cohen's D, you know, so this is, this is what we would consider a moderate effect size. Um, between the, the two groups, 0.5. So that means um, that one group scored half a standard deviation larger than the other group. And so our, our assumption check, we have a quality of variances or standard deviations, as you see right down here. Here are our mean differences. Remember, one is for women and two is for men. So women had a, a much larger score on this particular variable as compared to men. Which on average, that's what we see at a lot of um, empathy types of, of scales. We tend to see those differences between the two. You can see the descriptive plots here as well. And it gives us these standard error bars. Um, these are our standard errors here. And so you'll see they're a little larger for the men as compared to the, the women. Um, but you see that difference between, um, between the two groups for that. And then so how, how we would write up this particular one. Again, remember, we, we go up here, we copy, go to our Word document, paste it, and our plot turned out a little awkward on that, um, but we've got our, our results for it. Okay, so we've done our analyses and now we want to write up our results. So we would, um, again, go up here, the upside down triangle. We're going to hit copy. Um, we'll go over here and paste those results in. You'll notice the, the scale went off a little bit on our um, descriptive plot. Uh, and then here, here's a simple, succinct way in which we might write this up. So women, and then I've got our mean standard deviation, scored significantly higher in the ethnocultural empathy scale compared to men. And then I got the mean standard deviation for men. And then again, here's our little statistical shorthand. So T, and then I got a degrees of freedom here that I found right there, equals, and then 6.26, that's my T value right there, comma, and then P less than 0 0.001, what I have right there, and then our Cohen's D of uh, 0.51. Remember, we usually only go to decimal, decimal places. Um, for both the the T and the and the D value here, and again, reminder that all our symbols here are italicized. Right, that's one of the things that we do in APA style is we italicize the uh, the symbols. So that's a nice succinct way in which to um, to write up the results from this particular study.